What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here in Flagstaff doing a media marathon network with Hoka. So it's a mini camp today. So a bunch of writers and a few influencers and runners, um, we're all together following a program to get ready for Big Sur. But for those who don't know, I'm doing a marathon prior to Big Sur in Europe, which I will be announcing very soon. Maybe this YouTube video, maybe not. So I'm racing two weeks before the Big Sur, but we're all here to train at altitude. I wish it was longer, but today's run is a progression run 60 minute we go easy 30 minute out and then we start progressing the last 30. for those who are new to the channel hella good here i've been running every single day since may 15 2017 ran across the u.s LA to new york city in fact i ran through flagstaff like i see the main road y'all let me see if i can show you this main road where cars are going i ran through there running toward new york city so i've done that i've done two 100 mile races i just do running everything running i share with y'all let me show y'all my fit check real quick right there this is what i got going on um we're doing the run on a trail so i have the speed goat on and speed goat is not really my trail shoes it's the tectonics but guess what y'all i'm bringing these baby i don't care how trailly it is i'm running with these that's what i'm about to do let's take it to the to the wild to the to the to the run course to the trail let's get this working oh i got something special actually it's not that okay it's not that new anymore but i got a new colorway CLX1 baby. Okay, did I mention that the reason we're here in Flagstaff because NAZ Elite, the Hoka professional running team is based out of here. Their director who used to be a coach, Ben Rosario is coaching us. So I actually was here last year. I did my mini camp for Boston prep and I trained with the NAZ Elite. I ran with them. I got dropped at warm up, but this time I don't think they're running with us. So I don't have to worry about getting dropped. And my heart rate is high. I'm having difficulty breathing here just normally. And I looked at my heart rate and everything while I was sleeping through my watch. When I woke up, it was a little higher than usual because we were over 7,000 feet above sea level, y'all. So, all right, let's get this marathon prep going. Energy Elite, Flagstaff, Altitude, Marathon Prep, Week 5, on the go. Let's get it. Ah, let's do it. Flagstaff here with Coach. What's up? This is the guy that's helping me get really fast, as fast <laughs> as I can be. He's doing all the hard work. I got and, the easy part. And I'm excited because we're here with the guys. Last year I was here with the NAZ guy. I get excited seeing these guys because they work so well. What's up, Alex? Alex! We got the champ, Steph. We got the super mom to call you. Okay. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm going to give you a... <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. I'll give you a hug. Good seeing you. Good to see you. Hey, Matt. Good, how are you doing? Good seeing you. Yeah, you too. What's up? Nice, nice to meet finally you, meet you. Hey, I'm so happy that you're back at it. Oh, I'm yeah. Fine. How are you feeling? I'm I'm feeling sore, but I'm yeah. very grateful to be in this position. That's awesome. So happy. Yeah. Twelve weeks postpartum today. Just you are incredible. Yeah. Party, by the way. So. Yeah. That's yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it, you guys are just superheroes. That's what I say. Crazy. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. How are you? Doing? Good. Are you running with us? Yeah. Sweet. So we're here for the Media Marathon Network. How are you feeling right now? I feel amazing. Feel amazing? Uh, how are you feeling? Feeling so good. Feeling so good? hype. Flagstaff, Arizona. Let's go. How are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. What about you? Nice camera. Let's, Let's go. go. Great. All right. How are you feeling right now? I'm warming up. Ready. Warming ready up, baby. Out today. How y'all feeling? Excited. Excited? How are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling, feeling good. good? I feel as good as I look, baby. I feel as good as I look. Let's go, let's go. How are you feeling? You're doing great. Ready feeling to go? Good. Ready to run? Hey, we got the legend, Red. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you feeling, man? I feel great. Always. Ready to go? Feeling good. Let's go. Ben is running with us today. Huh? <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. Hey, this is good though because guess what? Tailwind. So we're going out 30 minutes and progression run back. I am actually excited. Even though with this loud wind, we get tailwind, you know, which is kind of like um, we're cheating ourselves a little bit, but you get some mother nature, mother nature help. I'm rolling at low sixes, but the progression back, it's hard, it's hard to breathe here. Uh, altitude, I can't control my breath, but maybe that means to back off a little bit. I don't know, but this is tough. Yes, I'm fitter, but it doesn't matter because altitude will humble you. Um, my lungs um, taste like blood, like iron, you know, that's the thing. But we got a little bit better at the end of the day. 
Um, the effort was definitely in the low sixes, but I don't think if the time shows that. I did see a 6-19 split, so we'll see. This try is time. the other reason I think try, we're try, really try, 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 try. You do want to kind of wait before you do the next one a little bit so you get your breath back because you want the form to be good. This isn't like trying to test yourself like a workout. It's more like loosening up. When you do strides, it's sort of triggering the body that, okay, I'm ready to go fast. and. We don't want to run fast every day. Yeah. Um, but I do like them after some easy runs. Hey, good job. Need some lunch. Good, good job. Good job. Okay. Good job. Good job, team. Hey, good job. Good job. You beat me back. I said we we're gonna do it together. You were quick. Thank you, coach. 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 We got our run done, and now we're in the gym because I was trying to get. Where's Brad at? Where's my muscle, man? Hey, Brad, come over here. I'm trying to get our muscle on. This is my. Let's go. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> let's go. We're, We're trying to get on this level a little bit. You know, we don't just run. You know, we do it all. We do it we all. Do what we can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get. Uh, Ella, Ella's gonna be spotting three plates by the end of this. Oh my gosh, I don't know about that. <laughs> did a little bit of a shrimp training but more of like getting explained the proper ways of doing things and I think we got yoga next we're getting everything we're doing the full the whole thing the whole thing here <laughs> day two of the mini camp my beautiful people we're in Sedona it's a trail run day man I haven't been here in the trail since Western State 100 y'all well Chamonix, France. Yeah, I was there. I just remember that actually. We did some epic chill on over there, but we're back. It's my other natural habitat, y'all. I know I'm roads, but I love the trail. Four mile run, recovery day. We got a big one on Sunday, so we're preparing for that. That's a 20 mile run with 16 being at marathon pace. Even the we're about 3,000 feet lower from Flagstaff. Breathing is still a little bit hard. Hello, how are you guys? Good. So it does still feel tough. My legs are a little heavy, uh, but we'll see how the day goes or how the run goes. I gotta be careful because we can't twist any ankles. It's marathon prep, you know, road marathon. We're not preparing for any trail race. So, gotta be very mindful. So I just hit halfway and now we wrap it back. Two miles in, two miles back out. Keep it up. Thank you, thank you. Good job. You. Good job, Ben. Nice work, Good job, coach, coach. <laughs> Keep it up. Good job. <laughs> We are a mile out. Okay, I got I got a little better control of my breath. So now we're cruising. This is beautiful y'all. Come on. Hey, we are at the end. Hey, hit four. Getting to the end. I'm done. I'm done. That was fun. Uh, 
definitely had a lot of fun a lot more fun on my way back i don't know if it's because mentally you know you're making a return when breathing was even a little tough still or your body got a little warmer and you start adapting little muscle fiber start knowing what's ahead kind of mentally but that last two miles was really fun this place come on let's do some slow slow little turn for you guys <laughs> look at this thing behind us the lighting i don't know if, look at this thing uh, all right so we got two four miles in on day two trail edition i guess even though it's slower pace quote unquote um the environment and we're top of my altitude i know we're 3,000 feet lower we're at 4,000 something and change and the trail definitely a uh, different muscle group working out so essentially it's like a another body workout even though we did a workout after yesterday's workout so yeah let's keep going y'all isn't that beautiful yeah, yeah. coming back yeah. i stopped <laughs> quite uh -huh. a few times for photos hey let's go <laughs> Ooh, how y'all feeling? Good, good, good. You got it done. Day three of my mini camp here in Flagstaff and also last day. So today on the schedule, I have a, a three mile easy run, but it's going to be in like a gravel padded road again. Um, I, a lot of the people here running that. I know it's nice and soft on the joint, but if you don't do that a lot, I think even if your run is easy, it could kind of put a little impact on your body. Like, you know, I know it's not like super rocky, but like there's some pebbles and things. So your ankles are like kind of, you know, buckling and stuff. But we have that here. And then I'm going to make my way to Phoenix. Um, I have some work there tomorrow, Saturday. And then on Sunday, I have a big run, 20 mile run with 16 of them being alternating uh, marathon pace and just slower than, not just slower, but a little bit slower than marathon pace. So. Yeah, so we're here. Uh, this is my run fit. We're about to get this, I guess, run in with the team. Some of the guys are joining, guys and girls are joining. Some of them are not because they have to leave. But um, yeah, we got we got six miles on deck today, y'all. See y'all when I see y'all. Peace. We got Ben Bruce here. Uh, we got some uh, two NAZ elite runners behind us too. So, breathing is still hard, yeah. but uh, much better for me this year than last year. Yeah. Last year I was struggling a lot more. I'm enjoying these dirt road actually. I know, the more, this is like a road. The man. more I do it. My beautiful people, we got Ben Bruce yo, yo. in the house. If you don't know, Google him. And it's crazy, this guy, he's fast, but the fascinating thing about for me about him is the fact that he can run back-to-back <laughs> -back marathon at a crazy pace. Like for example, he ran Boston, to Big Sur and one Big Sur and everybody knows Big Sur is very hilly and uh, anything you got for anybody out there that's just trying to grind and push and, and just live their goals and their dreams whether running or not. Honestly it sounds silly but I think just have a good time. Yeah have a good time. I had a lot of my career where I was super serious and competitive and then as I got older yeah. uh, and started moving into like pacing workouts and, and just still enjoying the sport yeah. and then I, I have as much fun as I used to and so I think when you have a good time and don't get over serious if you miss a workout or have a bad workout. I think that really helps you when it comes to race day to just That's beautiful. race the best. Because if you're stressed out or you're like worried about all these details, uh -huh. it's just it's just gonna cause your body to break down. So enjoy I it. Love and that. That's I, usually the I best love way to run. That, yeah. Relax and, and I'm fun. gonna make sure I focus on that too as well. And uh, so you're gonna you're gonna see Ben a lot more on my channel. I promise you guys. Stay tuned. And this wraps up, I guess, day three of our mini camp in Flagstaff. I'm not done here. I'm going down to Phoenix, but we keep going, y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, Sunday push day. Uh, we got a 20 mile run today. It's a mar marathon workout. So after two mile warm up, we're doing 16 miles, one mile on, one mile off. So one mile will be like 620 pace and one mile off will be 710. That's the goal. I'm a little exhausted on Flagstaff, everything altitude. I feel like it's catching up to me, but I'm gonna get out there and just dig and get my best. So we have 16 miles, one mile is 620. The other alternating 610 over and over until I finish 16 in a two mile cooldown, which will be a total of 20 miles, yo. Run for check. Let's do it, yo. The run went um, really well, actually. Goal was uh, alternating one mile at 620. Uh, I started in the 610s and I just dropped into a lot of the low sixes. We're talking about six to five, six flat. And the last one I did. 559 so I'm gonna drop the numbers right there felt good I felt strong I felt in control I stopped two times um to 
hydrated of a water fountain in the pathway that I was running in and took two gels, um, I felt really relaxed, even though I had some headwinds and I was so much in control when I had to pick up the pace. Uh, it was hard to go slower um, on the alternating mile when you when I was supposed to go to the 710, so I found myself in the low sevens. Um, there's one of them where I went 720 something. Um, that was like the last one. But overall, I felt really good. I was a little nervous uh, when I woke up because I just felt really tired. My body just felt exhausted. We're talking about being in altitude, changing in temperatures, you know, uh, and all of that. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy with where I'm at. Um, there's a lot of work to be done, but I've made a lot of progress compared to last year. And I'm not comparing last year to this year so much, but it's just a stepping stone. I'm using it as a, as a motivator. You know, hey, like, look, look where you're at right now. Look how far you've come. And there's more to be done. So that's about it. But the cool thing is, though, right before the run, um, I had a special person come in um, from the Hello Good fam. So I put on Trava. I'm running in Phoenix if anyone wants to join. So Jason um, from Trava, who is a friend now, came to join the, the first couple of miles, my warm-up. And he is an author. And he wrote a book, y'all. And... In this book, he decided to put my name in it, uh, which is really humbling, so grateful, just amazing. And I had no idea how much of an impact I had made on him. But um, I just want to share that with you guys. Let's flip the camera. So um, I don't know if it's focused, if you guys can see Hella CDB there. Um, pretty cool. So this book is about, I guess, you see the title. It's about just improving your life, um, transform dental sleep. So. Yeah, thank you so much, Jason. Now we are packing. I have about less than 30 minutes to get out of this hotel, get some food, and we're heading to the airport, and we go back to New Jersey, and the marathon prep continues, y'all.